This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to show you how to treat your dog's hotspot at home. First, thanks for watching this video. Thank you for being a subscriber. I really want to know what you want to learn about, so if you have ideas for upcoming videos, please send me an email to youtube at veterinarysecrets.com or you can leave a comment after today's video. The signs of a hot spot are a very red, infected, oozy area of the skin. Typically you can see them on your dog's face. Often I would find them just under the ears, but they can be in any area of the body. The technical veterinary term is called acute moist dermatitis. And what that means is that there's bacterial infected hair follicles. Um, typically, we'll see them in dogs during the summer months, which is most common. They're wet, they're swimming, um, they can just scratch an area of the skin, have a cut that becomes locally infected. And very often, it's secondary to an underlying allergy. Here is what a dog hotspot looks like, otherwise known as acute moist dermatitis. In this image here, the base of a dog's ear. You can see the area that's very red. Imagine it's very painful, slightly swollen. Um, there's a fair amount of serous discharge. The second image here, it's clear to see the amount of discharge that's visible. Very red. You can imagine that it's very painful. So the first thing you want to do is give your dog something to take the edge off. Then you're able to treat that hot spot. I like to start with something safe and holistic, such as rescue remedy here. A dose I'm going to give something like Jesse. It's about a one to two drops for 10 pounds. So I've given him six or seven drops there. Another option is then use aspirin. If we're looking at an aspirin dose, we're looking at a dose of one 325 milligram tablet for 40 to 50 pounds. And so if I were to give him aspirin, I would be giving him one tablet. Then after you give the rescue remedy or give the aspirin, um, Wait somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes to give that medication time to have an effect and then start treating that hot spot. The next step is clipping and cleaning it. Hopefully you have a pair of clippers on hand. If you don't, you can use something such as these blunt scissors. What you need to be doing is clipping all the hair around that hot spot. And it's really important you get as much hair off as possible because you have the bacteria actually growing within those hair follicles. And while they're there, and if that infection, they'll keep the infection from being treated, and as long as the hair is present, you're not going to be able to clear up the hot spots. You, and this is probably the most important step. Clipping that hot spot properly, then you can treat it and have it dry up and treat that infection. The next part is cleaning that hot spot. I prefer something such as this, chlorhexidine soap. It's what we use for surgical scrubs. It's great for getting rid of that surface bacteria and really cleaning that skin well. And I found it works very well with hot spots. This is something you can get at any veterinarian. Just ask your veterinarian for a vitamin soap scrub. The other option, if you don't have access to that, is you could use something as simple as tea. So this is a strong cup of black tea here. Um, so I just use regular red rose tea about a half a cup of water, let it sit for about 15 minutes. I've got real concentrated black tea. So in using the Hibitane, I'm putting in about five mils and about half a cup of water. I've got my four by four gauzes, which I'll dilute with the water and the Hibitane. And then, you know, being fairly gentle, you know, scrubbing the base scrubbing that entire hot spot really well. And go ahead and you know, spend five to ten minutes doing that. You know, just rubbing side to side, scrubbing right on the hot spot, getting a bit of a soap lather worked up, really cleaning that skin really well. After you've used the soap, you really scrub well, then you want to wipe it off. You could do something as simple as just, just a flush bottle with just water. So you're just going to wash that soap off. And now the treatment of the hot spot. My favorite home remedy treatment for treating hot spots is tea and aspirin. So I've got half a cup here of this concentrated black tea. 
Um, you should be able to see it in the cup there. Just plain old red rose black tea. Then I take one regular strength, 325 milligram aspirin. Drop that in the black tea. I would have you let that sit for 10 to 15 minutes and stir it well. You want to make sure that the aspirin is fully dissolved in the tea. So this is going to do a number of things. First, it's a great topical anti-inflammatory. That's the aspirin. Secondly, we've got the antibacterial properties of the tea, which are wonderful. Thirdly, we have the tannins, the drying effect of the tea. So the, the big point in terms of dealing with these hot spots is we need to treat, treat the surface bacterial in, infection, then nextly dry that out. So when that moisture is not present, that hot spot and that bacteria can't keep keeping growing. So then what I'd have you do is just drop in a piece of gauze, soak up that teen aspirin if you got here, and you can be wiping that on that hot spot, such as you know, Jesse's sample hot spot at the base of his ear. So wiping that on that area, and you can do that four times a day. So that's the tea and the aspirin. Another option for treating topical hot spots is aloe. There's a number of different products that contain aloe. Um, I've used this one. It's called Melissa's Aloe Pet. Works very well, I've found, for surface hot spots. Just want to shake it up well. Put some on the end of a gauze, as I've got here. And then, same, then similar again, just wiping that on the dog, your dog's hot spot four times a day. And you're, you're going to do that somewhere between five to seven days. The last step in this video is hot spot prevention. So likely if you've got a dog who has recurring hot spots, they probably have an underlying allergy. Um, you can go ahead and review the allergy video. The next big point I want to make though is ensure that they're on adequate doses of essential fatty acids. I really like flax oil, and here's a really inexpensive bottle of flax oil. A dose for Jesse is one tablespoon daily, so that equates to a thousand milligrams for 10 pounds of body weight daily. Thanks for watching this edition of NRE Secrets. What I want you to do now is click that link, that link above, and you can subscribe to my channel. When you click the link in the box below, you can sign up for my newsletter, and I can send you my free books and videos on how to heal your dogs at home with my top natural remedies. Thanks again for watching this video. I really want to know what you want to learn about, so if you have ideas for future videos, please send me an email to youtube at veterinarysecrets.com.